Alright, welcome back. Mountain Rover here again. I hope the wind is not too disruptive to the sound here. Um, I'm back out again visiting my second Land Rover Discovery that I purchased about a month ago. That is in generally very good condition inside and out with the exception of the actual engine. Um, I don't know if the person who owned it previously tried to do an oil change on their own and had an issue, which certainly shouldn't be a big deal, but sometimes it happens. Um, or if Beavis and Butthead got a hold of it at a, some sort of quick lube place. But for whatever reason, uh, it threw a rod and it dumped all sorts of oil out. So a vehicle with fairly low miles, unfortunately, a nice Land Rover is now dead in the water. But fortunately, I've got it on life support. I'm looking for a new engine for it. And I thought while I was doing this, since I haven't been a car person all that much in my life in the past, but certainly am becoming one now as I enjoy these Land Rovers, and I'm learning how to do some basic maintenance things myself uh, to save a little money on, on, the, on the front end, uh, that I would share with you what I'm kind of intending here. I'd like to get a new engine for this one get it back up and running, perhaps even sell it down the line, because um, otherwise it's certainly a nice vehicle and with a nice, reliable, used, rebuilt, whatever in there, it should have a nice, long, happy life. But in the meantime, that's um, giving me an opportunity to learn other things and in very small ways to start to pick apart at it. And so there's a lot to pick here. One of the first things, you know, I've, I've done oil changes and coolant changes now on my other Land Rover right over here. Um, but I haven't really gone beyond that and I want to have some of the basics down things that might actually first of all just be helpful to know how to do but second be very helpful if I was out in the woods somewhere or driving through some fairly barren terrain and had an issue and it all kind of coincides with uh, getting this dead engine out and a new one put in because all of this stuff would have to come out anyway so today's little trick is buying, you know, it's only a few bucks, it's like 15 bucks, buying a uh, tensioner belt tool, and usually these days they even come with their own little set of, uh, of sockets and whatnot, a couple of different sizes because these are fairly standardized, and what you do is you then go in here, I've already started this one, on the Land Rover Discovery, there is a pulley down there right where the right where the tool is, the socket is, and that one is the, actually the tensioner um, pulley. And you can see when I get the socket on there, there was some exerting some pressure, you can remove it, and that's what allows the slack on the belt that allows you to then go in and take it off of the pulley. Now, it does seem really as simple as that, and it is almost, but not quite. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you have that out, you need to take this hose out of here. You need to unscrew four little plastic screws, two down here and two here. Take this out. Don't really worry about having to force things a little bit. It's plastic. plastic and rubber. It can handle it. And then you have a lot more free access here. And you'll need to take this one off too, because otherwise the belt is not going to come out from under and it's not going to come adequately off of this pulley up here. So, that's where this one is. And you simply release that tension. You know, it's a good idea before you start anything like this to look online or look in a manual and see what pattern the belt for your particular vehicle and your particular engine and model year is so that you know exactly how it's supposed to, a new one is supposed to go back on. But, um, it's not rocket science, you know, and something that you would pay somebody a reasonable chunk of change to do, you can do on your own as long as you've ordered the right part, purchased the right part, and know what the diagram looks like. You can do this. It's really quite easy. I'm just going to slip this off of here. And basically, it's off of almost everything now. Almost. Except these couple of guys over here, because I haven't taken this one off yet. So that's the next part. And hopefully I'll be able to get that into the next 